Good evening and welcome to African Voices Platform. My name is Chiwe Chihana. I'll be your host tonight in partnership with my colleague Bailo Jalo, who is in the studio tonight. Good evening, Bailo. Good evening, Chiwe. Thanks so much for joining me as co-host today. So we'll be looking at Rwanda today and we've got two guests in the studio. Uh, I'll introduce them to you in a moment. Uh, just to give you a bit of a background to, the, to tonight's episode, we'll be talking about Paul Rusesa Bagina, who is a Rwandan humanitarian and activist, celebrated globally as the hotel manager who hid and protected Hutu and Tutsi refugees during the genocide against the Tutsi. And his heroic acts have garnered famed recognition when A-list actor Don Chido played his character in the film Hotel Rwanda. He's, known been, he's been known to feud with President Kapo Kagame uh, since criticizing him in his 2006 autobiography and was recently arrested in Rwanda amid allegations of being kidnapped. However, we've got guests tonight uh, who are going to help us clarify the details and understand what exactly is going on. I'll introduce you to Eric Murangwa Eugene, the founder and CEO of Ishami Foundation and survivor of the 1994 genocide against the Tutsi. He has won multiple international awards, including the Presidential Medal of Freedom awarded by the USA in 2005. Eric, welcome to the show tonight. Hello, thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm pleased to be here. Um, uh, looking forward to have, have the conversation with you tonight. Thanks so much, Eric. And I would also like to introduce to you another Rwandan who is based here in Sheffield. His name is Enoch Karimba. Enoch, good evening and welcome to African Voices Platform. Thank you for having me. Right, um, Eric. So where do we start from? We've got this icon who has won several awards uh, for his role in helping some refugees whilst he was hotel manager in Rwanda during the genocide. What has happened? Uh, well, <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a long story and a very interesting one, uh, especially for uh, non Rwandan because uh, it seems that uh, there is there's two uh, two two type of porous uh, vagina. There is a porous vagina, uh, well known in Rwanda uh, as as, as, as uh, someone who was uh, uh, an interim manager of Hotel Mercorin. He was he was not actually the the, the manager of the hotel, he happened to be a manager because the, 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 the actual manager who was at the region had left the country um, to someone who uh, have come to be known uh, because of what uh, Hollywood uh, film Hotel Rwanda uh, said about him and how he has used the story to uh, basically uh, take full advantage of, 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 of our tragedy in, in his own interest. And then, then there is the process of Ajina known outside Rwanda as the hero who uh, saved the people. I mean, to his credit, though, it's not like he told his own story. That story was written as a play. So when you say he's using this to his advantage, I'm not sure he tried to inflate his own ego. It was something that was written by somebody else before it became a film. No, well, that, that, that's, 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 that's not true because uh, he is the main character in the film, even though he's not the one who plays it. He is the one who provided all the information that the, the, the film uh, was based on. So... And he has gone on to, to write a book that, that pretty much uh, amplifies what, 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 this, what the uh, film said. Um, and again, we need to remember that uh, the film, the way it, 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 it was presented, it was presented as a, as a true story, even though we know Hollywood don't really tell many true stories. 
in the in their in their film. So yeah, he he has been really fully involved, fully engaged in the, in, the, in the distortion of the the whole story. Yes. I mean, he has been involved in shaping it when consulted. Naturally, this is about his autobiography, but also to dismiss it completely, I think, uh, uh, also dismisses the fact that in the beginning, President Paul Kagame as well was in, in support of, of Paul, uh, Paul uh, Ruse Sabagena, wasn't he? At the beginning, before 2006 at least. I, I don't know about that. Uh, I, 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 I've never had or seen any uh, any any anything that President Paul Kagame said to place Paul Paul Sabagina. I think he may have uh, played the, the story of, of or the film as 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 the whole when it came out. Because to be honest, the film uh, the way it was it was presented, other than the element of uh, uh, making this one individual uh, look look like uh, you know an, an extraordinary man even though he calls himself an ordinary man uh, the film was a good a good way of uh, putting the one on the map because uh, they, they there's not that many uh, films that that uh, have, have been produced to tell the the, the story of, of Rwanda uh, but before I can go further on, on what President Kagame or someone else may have said about it let me tell you this I was actually in that hotel in 1994. So I served refuge in that, in that hotel. I spent uh, close to three weeks in the hotel. So I know very well what went on more than anyone else. Uh, so I don't need anyone to, to tell me that uh, this such and such may have said this. I, 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 can, I can tell you what, what I experienced on those three weeks that I spent in the hotel. Okay, um, that's appreciated. So maybe I'll come back to you on that one. That's very handy to know. Um, Enoch, uh, can I come to you for now? Um, so the Rwandan authorities say that the role of, uh, as we've just heard from Eric, that uh, Paul Rusesa Bagina's role was exaggerated. <laughs> but then on the other hand, the Kagame government has been said to, to dis Short or discredit and smear um, and also silence, Paul. What's your take on the subject? Um, thank you for this. Uh, I think um, this whole saga about um, Paul Sesabagina, I mean, every, everything is all in evidence at the moment. Um, even prior to him being arrested, there were some activities that have been ongoing, um, uh, which have been perpetrated by the very person, you know, although there's two types of Rusesa Bagina. There's one type which is seen as a hero in the West, especially as portrayed by Hollywood, but also there's the real person who is known by the Rwandans in the country, who know him, you know, uh, during the 1994 genocide against the Tutsi, but also his actions of when people were being murdered. You know, there is that side of him so you could argue or you could ask yourself which side is anyone going to believe. But all we know is the majority Rwandans today know the true story. They know what happened during that time. They can testify that, you know, uh, survivors like Eric can testify that. But um, in understanding exactly what it is around uh, Mr. Sabagina at the minute, it's kind of like, you know, um, the government Rwanda against those who are supporting Professor Sabagina because at the moment, the whole um, rhetoric uh, built around uh, Paul Rousseau Sabagina is pretty much from the West at the moment, you know, but the actual truth and the activities, I mean, of recent, you know, there have been some insurgents and these are the people that are destabilizing the security in the country. And these people are being financed by the very person who's, uh, who's being portrayed as a hero in the West. So. So you, you're saying he's been financed or have you, have you, um, have you got, evi is there evidence at present that's been given to say that he has financed them or is that why he's being exactly. held? Exactly, that was the question. There already. is evidence, there is evidence. Unfortunately, you know, due to copyright uh, laws and regulations at the moment, you know, uh, there is a video evidence. He himself making speech of causing insurgents in the country. Is that why he's being detained by the Kagame government right now? Is that what you're saying? 
Yeah, because uh, there were people recently murdered in the country, you know, uh, uh, in the north of the country. And the forces who attacked at the time were forces loyal to Sesa Bagina. So he's a mastermind of all these killings that's happened recently in the country. So um, for him to have been arrested, he's not being arrested because, you know, um, hotel run or anything like that, but he's being arrested because of someone who is trying to instabilize the country. I do hope you're saying he's a suspect and not necessarily that he is the person doing it. Vilo, would you like to come in on that one? Yes, um, I just wanted to uh, pick on what uh, Enoch was saying there, um, Paul's uh, Sabagina on um, him being known in the West as a hero and then the real Paul in Rwanda. When you say the real Paul, in Rwanda, uh, with a Sabagina. What do you mean? Because from my understanding, I cannot see any evidence right now that suggests, you know, the allegations that you've just highlighted. Um, the uh, whole information is out there. The whole information about the real Paul with Sabagina in Rwanda is out there in the media. Is that from the Rwandan perspective or from, not at all. Or from the government not perspective? At all. Not at all, from the West perspectives. People that didn't know him as one side being the hero from Hollywood, but also the person behind or the mastermind behind uh, these atrocities which uh, took place in the north of our country. But again, to come back on that one, um, what I meant by the real Paul Sisabagina, I meant in the context of what people know him by. People don't know him because he saved you know, whatever those people that the West claim to, uh, uh, him to have saved from the hotel, uh, the actual hotel. Uh, I mean, we have evidence. Eric is a survivor uh, from the hotel. Um, he can tell his own story on that part. So yes, is that I only evidence, that. if that only evidence can manifest mm -hmm. who the person is in Rwanda by the Rwandans, then who can convince the Rwandans that, you know, uh, this person is a hero when people saw this face by, you know, uh, they saw it evidently happening. Yeah, the point here, uh, it's not about him being a hero or a villain. The point is about him being arrested. And according mm. to allegations, he was mm. kidnapped in Dubai. And uh, that's, we've seen just a not... few days ago, uh, President Kagame denying the allegation that he was kidnapped, but that he traveled oh, to Rwanda himself. Why, why, so, my, why... so my question here, why now? Where, where, where is, where is the, the, the evidence that he was kidnapped? Has well, that's according to his family because he, he attended a meeting in Dubai. But, but the, the family themselves have said that they only spoke to him two days after he, uh, were there on, on Thursday evening. Yes, they, since then they've not heard from him. And there, was no, and there was no plan of him traveling to Rwanda. Yeah, but that, um, that's the thing. But that, that doesn't say he was kidnapped. But that doesn't really say as well he went to Rwanda himself, did it? But um, yeah. when heavy. the media reports, when the media report that he legally departed Dubai, you know, what does that mean? No one forced him to board from Dubai, you know, um, to the final destination. I and will no tell you what President Paul Kagame said about how uh, uh, Rusia Sabagina went into Rwanda. So Paul Kagame said that the arrested critic Paul Rusia Sabagina, now facing terrorism charges, was not kidnapped from Dubai, but had been lured and that's the word that they use, lured to Rwanda in a flawless operation. So definitely we understand from that point that the government had something to do with that. In his own words, President Paul Kagame said that. And also However, the fact that Dubai absolute, as well has not denied. Absolutely, but that, that doesn't mean he was kidnapped. It still means what? that he was lured and he went there not on, on terms of his own. But it doesn't mean he was kidnapped. I think the reason that you have to make, to make it clear using the term kidnapping. And I, and, and I think Milo, I Milo actually was clear. He said allegedly. Mm. allegedly. And he did say that. Oh, uh, I'm, saying, I'm, I'm, say, I'm saying this because this, this has been a, what, what every story in the West you know, have been using for the last, the last week or so. Uh, and, and, and this, again, goes back to the, to the, to the, to the original uh, way this man was created, because the, there is a powerful uh, PR and, and the propaganda machine behind, behind his story that always try to 
tell a different story. So, and, and this is something we should not ignore in this time in, when, when, when having this conversation. Yes, we totally agree to that, Eric. But our point here as well, as Chiwe mentioned, he's a known critic to President Paul Kagame since 2006, right? So why now? Why was he only arrested now? Well, you also have to, uh, if, you, if you have followed this case, you, rea you, you realize that his uh, international uh, arrest warrant has been, uh, been out there for years. So it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not something that... Since when? Happened. Since when the international arrest warrant? Can you just clarify that? Since when? Uh, I can't remember exactly, but uh, I think his, his uh, international warrant may, may have come, come out since... 2012 or something well, like exactly. that? Exactly. I was going to tell you that came after 2006. That came yeah. around 2011. Right, exactly. So it, he, 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 has, he has been doing all sorts of uh, cr criminalities that has, has been, been, been put together throughout the years. Uh, but the most serious one uh, is what my, my, my colleague and uh, uh, my friend Enoch mentioned that uh, happened in 2018. When okay. he I, just, I, just wanted, I just wanted us to move on a little bit from that. Well, for now, he is a suspect. Don't you think a person, uh, in terms of the legal system, a person is innocent until found guilty? So why is he not allowed to have his own lawyers or his own representative, but the government choosing representative for him? Well, and, uh, I don't know if you've, uh, you've looked at the... the the list of the lawyers that 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 were, were selected to, to represent him uh, uh they, i think there are 12 of them and nine, nine out of 12 they are lawyers who have uh, are, are known to have defended only genocidaires people who have committed genocide in rwanda and have been uh, convicted by international courts so these are the lawyers that have been selected to represent this 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 man so I think Rwanda uh, government has has his, 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 his own reason to uh, yeah to vet and 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 and, 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 and agree who who's, who's going to get involved in this kind. No, of, but kind he of definitely he, he he definitely has a right to have his own lawyers and and given that he's actually a Belgian citizen, the other apart from lawyers, um, there's also been refusal for for diplo Belgian diplomats to engage in this particular process. They've been denied that ability. Um, I just want to get down to the to what the Rwanda Investigation Bureau said about he, this arrest. If I, if you could indulge me. A a little bit. So they said he has been a subject of an international arrest warrant, uh, wanted to answer charges of serious crime, including terrorism, arson, kidnap, and murder perpetrated against unarmed innocent Rwandan civilians on Rwandan territory. So that's the basis, uh, including in uh, Nyabimata, which you guys were referring to, I think, the 2018 situation. Is that right? Yeah? Yeah. So right. given that these are serious allegations and he has not been able to have access to his own chosen lawyers, um, how can we be assured that he's not at immediate or serious risk of torture or cruel or inhumane, if for that matter, or degrading treatment or punishment? How can we be assured of that? Again, we, 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 are, we are picking and choosing what, what, what to tell in this, in this particular case. Uh, Paul, him, Paul Sister Gina himself, was, uh, uh, was appeared in front of the press uh, two days after he uh, he was arrested under and duress and in handcuffs that, under duress and in handcuffs uh, two days after that he had another in another time with the press where he clearly said that he is well treated he has give, been given access to his medication he has been given f food and he is, he, is, he, he has all trust. Eric, Eric hold on a minute. Being been given food and being given access to medication, do, does that mean you've been given fair justice? Does that mean you've been no, given it, fair it, representation? It, it, um, no, no, it, it means you are not being treated in humane condition. Right? So if, 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 if people are saying that they, they fear that he's going to be uh, you know, treated in him anywhere, he's going to be denied this and that. The man himself came out and said, I am well looked after. And I have. And, uh, do you, Eric, Eric, let's talk here. Let's talk. Listen yeah. to me. Do you genuinely think 
under the circumstances. You're surrounded by the people who are holding you in authority. You've got nowhere else to run to. Do you think you could actually criticize openly if you're told you're not being treated well? You've got no access to your own lawyers. The only yep. people holding your life in their hands are the people who have arrested you. Seriously, I'll come on Eric? that. I'll come on that, Chiwe. Um, <laughs> go on, I mean, go on, if, go you on think, if you think about, if you think about um, how the West go out there or go after um, terrorist suspects, we never see, uh, we only see one side or hear one side. We never see the other side. We see Sabagina being arrested in Rwanda and treated humanely, although, you know, um, you might want to be humanely in quotation marks, which is not right, and I disagree with that because his counterparts who had been arrested prior are still being treated humanely with respect. They are suspects. These are people that have caused mayhem to the people of Rwanda. But uh, they are locked up. Allegedly still, if they haven't the been. Have they been condemned? Have they been convicted? Sorry. The justice is out there. They have they have, they have, they have accepted all, all everything that they have been accused. And they've been convicted. And this, this, the, the, one, of, the one of these people we're talking about, he was the spokesperson of Rute Savagina's political party and the military wing. Yeah, the question is, has he a... been convicted in a court of law? Well, he, the case is still going on, but the man has oh, already been convicted. So, so, has, so, so we'd man, rather say allegedly, because he's the not man been convicted. Has, but he has pleaded guilty. I think okay. that's, a, that's a very important part to also mention. I, I really want to come back to your experience in the hotel uh, in a bit, but let's talk, um, and, and I'll make this open to, to, the three, to, to the three of you, actually. Um, let's talk a little bit about the Zambian factor here. So quite recently, uh, this is something that's being hinged upon. So Mr. Mr. Rusesa Bagina's name was featured in, in a terrorism case in Rwanda, and that uh, implicated the Zambian president of having been party to, to these acts. Do you have any information on that and how has that impacted uh, the current situation where we are? Well, from my understanding, uh, uh, the, the, what, what, what happened is that uh, this other man we're mentioning, who was the spokesperson of uh, the Sarajina uh, party and the military wing and, and was appreh apprehended by the, the, the Rwandan authorities uh, a few months ago, uh, provided those information in the court, uh, which implicated uh, a, a number of uh, 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 other African countries that have been supporting or, you know, working with, with, with the, the Rusia Savajina's movement. Uh, so I don't have much details of what uh, exactly the, the president of Zambia may, may, may have done. Uh, but the information that have been made uh, available in the public domain is that, uh, yes, the president of Zambia and a few other countries were mentioned uh, as part of uh, uh, Calix, Calix, Calixti's uh, court uh, case. Um, Enoch, I just wanted to ask you there, in terms of this allegation, bringing countries like Zambia in and other neighboring countries, uh, do you think here your president, Paul Kagame, he's risking uh, a good relationship between Rwanda and its neighbors? Uh, thank you for that. I don't think Rwanda has a problem with any other country or neighbors or anyone like that. So the countries are the ones that might play that part of actually spoiling the relationship with Rwanda because to begin with, they harbor uh, genocide suspects, they harbor people that are negative, uh, people have uh, negative intentions towards the country. So really, uh, who plays the relationship? You know, um, we know all in our uh, African tradition, you know, if your neighbor uh, reaches out, you know, um, you welcome them. But if your but, neighbor but, is but trying to fight you back, Zambia what are you trying to do? Clearly, the president of Zambia has come out clearly and refuted the allegation and saying Zambia has nothing to do with it and Zambia will not support any group to launch a rebellion into Rwanda. He's made that quite clear. Do you think that should be enough? Enough uh, based on what? But based on case, him saying that they are not involved because this is just an allegation. But the case there is, is in no court. proof to it. The case is in the court. So I don't think- Yeah, the case anyone... being in court. What, what I'm trying to yeah. say here, there is no proof that Zambia 
is supporting a rebellion into Rwanda. Uh, but but there is the, no one is saying it it, it, it is what uh, you know the allegations are true. But the allegations are there. If the allegations are there, I'm not saying there, they are not. But all I'm saying now, Zambian yeah. president has come out with the statement of the whole country and said, "Look, we are not part of it, and we will not support it." Just like President Kagame came in just a couple of days ago and said, "You want us to trust Paul Kagame saying uh, Paul Rusa Sabagina was not kidnapped in Dubai." Right? You've just been defending that because he is the statement. You trust him. Now another statement from another country has said, look, we are not involved. Don't you think you as a Rwandan or President Kagame as a statement who want to be trusted by his own fellow Africans should also trust his own other fellow statement in other countries who say, look, we are not involved in your problems and we will not be involved in your problems. I, I, you are, I, I, sorry, sorry, you know, okay. let, 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 me, let me say something on this. Uh, you are the one who broke it. We did not make anything to do with that. So you, you are, 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 from, from the, the, the information that you have been able to put together, you mentioned this. And we, 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 we have to respond to it's your question. It's because the allegation is there. It's because exactly. the allegation is there. Yeah, but the allegation is coming from Rwanda as well. It's not coming from somewhere else. It's coming from Rwanda. It's not up to me or, or to any 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 other Rwandan to 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 make you know a stop on this. The, the case is still in the court. The allegations have been there. As far as I know, Rwandan government have not really gone any further with that. And, okay. And, you know, no to problem. Let's say, to let's say we agree with you. The Zambian government on, on this kind of thing. Okay. So, it's, it's a just a story that you journalists and then the people who are who are not, interested not in not their problem. Fair point. You know, let's talk about the, let's the, talk about Rwanda in general now. Since Paul Kagame came into power, there has been economic prosperity in the country. Yes, we agree. But he's also been accused of ruling the country in a very iron fist manner, which we can see the example here. Who dares to criticize him? Then you get locked up. By who? Who, 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 who? who says that let me he quote has... You, let me quote you here. What, what's been said by a uh, human rights activist, you know, recent Sabadina's detention has prompted concern among human rights activists that this was the latest example of the Rwandan government targeting critics beyond its borders. Who are those, who, who are those human rights activists? Human, yeah. Well, uh, you, you should know they, more than I do, they, because you are another one. Well, we, the way the way the way Rusa Sabagina was introduced here was introduced as a human rights activist. So, what what if those stories comes from uh, you know people who have a similar similar views and understand? Uh, well, well the, apart, Sabagina, apart from you know, that, they, they apart, hide behind this this cover of being a human rights activist. Okay, apart from that, Paul Kagame has been in power for twenty years, right? Up to today, okay. you know. Uh, there is this allegation there that if anybody challenges him, um, you get arrested or you don't succeed. Uh, is, it, is it only Paul Kagame that is kind of the only person who can rule the country for 20 years and above? Do you know where the country came from 26 years ago? Do you know where it was? Is, can you name any, any other country in the world that has? has been the situation of what Rwanda was, was in 26 years ago. Does I totally that, agree, the economic that, prosperity. That, That's why I mentioned doesn't it. That, doesn't that give the man who took that country from where it was to where it is today? The, but it's not a royal family, is it? It's not. But then Rwanda is not, is not any, any other country. So if we Rwandans still believe in him, if, if all evidence shows that he has given Rwandans what they needed for, for the last 26 years, who, 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 who else, who else have, have the right to, 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 to question that? But do you believe all Rwandans are in favor of what Mr. Kagame is doing or are in favor of Mr. Kagame 100% to still of continue course, for the next 20 of, years? Of course not all Rwandans, but most Rwandans, yes. And the, and the, and the election, the recent election, and everything that you want you to, to, to use as, as, a, as a measure will back up that. Uh, that, 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 that narrative. Anyway, uh, shall we move on just a little bit? I mean, um, th th there's li th there's, there are reasons why people are concerned. Uh, if you remember in 2014 when um, 
Patrick Karajir. How do you pronounce Patrick Karajir was murdered in South Africa? South Africa's investigations led to the fact that it was the Rwandan government that was involved in that. And that was the investigative report. However, I would want to move away from, 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 from this and just talk about you, Eric, and your experience as a survivor. So talk us through what happened. How did you end up in the hotel yourself? I mean, I know you, you, you refer to him as he wasn't, you, you're really dismissive of him and his role, but he was acting at the time because the general manager wasn't there. So rightfully so, he was general manager for the time you were there. Could you run us through that, that moment? Sure. Okay. Well, uh, like many uh, fellow Rwandans, uh, back in 1994, when the, 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 the genocide against the Tutsi was, was, was taking place, uh, we, 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 we all had, had to uh, uh, run for our, our lives. And um, I, I was lucky that uh, I, I received the help from people who had that uh, uh, privilege and, 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 and power to, to, to do so. Um, uh, a, a fan of my football club, who was also one of uh, the leaders of, of, of the militia that was carrying genocide, uh, took me from, from, from my home to, to his home and then, and then to International Red Cross headquarters, which was not far from uh, where Hotel Miracle Inn was. And when I arrived to that, uh, to, 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 the, to the International Red Cross, uh, the director of the, 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 the Red Cross uh, arranged for me and the, and the three other people who, who had come to uh, seek refuge at, at, his, at his compound to go to, to, to be taken to the Miracle Inn. Uh, so he apparently contacted one, one of the local authority who sent a car and then two, two policemen, and we were uh, taken to Hotel Mirkolin. That's how I arrived at Mirkolin. When I arrived at Mirkolin, uh, interestingly, uh, the first person I met was Poro Tesavagina, where he was by the, the entrance of the, of, of the hotel with a few other people. Uh, the gentleman who had been tasked to bring us there uh, seemed to uh, know who Sosewajina was. At, at, at the time, I didn't know who, who he was. Uh, so he introduced us, and then poor, poor Sosewajina also introduced us to uh, his, his staff. Um, that was the, my first encounter with Paul. My, in the next three weeks that I spent there, I did not see him again. I did not hear anyone saying about anything about him. I saw him again on the day that we, the people who, were, who had uh, come to seek refuge uh, uh, at, the, at, the, at the Hotel Mel Corinne, were being transported to the RPF controlled zone uh, in, a, in a deal that had been made between the, the RPF and then and, 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 and the, the Rwandan government and, and uh, for, for our viewers, that's uh, the Rwandan Patriotic Front, is that right? Yes, the Rwandan Patriotic Front, which, Front, which was the label group that was, was, was fighting the government in terms of stop the genocide back then. So w the people who were in the hotel uh, had been uh, used as prisoner exchanges with other people who had been caught in the Arab PF controlled zone, uh, mainly from the families of those who were, who were in the government. So because the, the government wanted their people to be, be, to be, to be sent to, their, to, to the territory where they were still in control, they accepted to send us over to the, to the RPF side. And this again is something that the UN played a part in it. The, the small UN soldiers who had remained in the country at the time uh, facilitated the, the negotiation. So, what I'm trying to say, in my three weeks or so uh, time that I spent in a hotel, I only saw Paul Sesavagina twice, the day I arrived and the day I left. So if this man was who the film says he was, surely, surely, I should have at least seen him going by in the hotel to, to just ask what's going on, you know, uh, how far... The so who was in control was... then, Paul? Who, who were you seeing then? Uh, Eric, sorry to interrupt you there. But who, who, you said you were not seeing Paul. 
but yes. who was in charge then uh, when when Paul was absent, or who did or who did you see? Well, to 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 be honest, no one was in charge as such, but the hotel had been uh, put in 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 place in a, in a, in international uh community attention so all the few journalists who managed to come to rwanda to cover what was go, what was going on most of them came to stay at the hotel a few diplomats who came to rwanda to try and, 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 and uh, arrange you know the, the, to speak to the government or the the, the, the rpf also came and, and, and spent time at the hotel. So the hotel, to some extent, w was in, in, in international community uh, view because of the, these things were happening there. And, and we also happened to have a small uh, group of UN peacekeeper soldiers who had also come to stay at the hotel. Uh, when I arrived at the hotel, right in front of, of the hotel where I found uh, Poro Sister Regina, was 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 a UN tank with few 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 UN soldiers. The the hotel had a UN uh, flag that was put there to make sure that this is this is a, a, a free zone, if you can call it. In, in a, you know when you when you in war there's this. You mean a, U, a United Nations green zone? Yeah, exactly. So again, to answer your question, there was a, a group of refugees that had been put together among refugees to be the representative of everyone. There were about six or eight people. And these were the people who actually did everything for the refugees. If you had any issue, you had to go to them. If there was any communication coming from outside, they were the one who brought it or the, if there were any meetings that were taking place to, between the, the diplomats i will give you an example for uh, for, uh, for 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 for, for uh, an, a very important event a very important moment that actually uh, really contributed to what happened to us a, a french uh, humanitarian uh, man called uh, bernard kushner who is the founder and is, uh, of uh, Médecins Sans Frontières. Or, or, when you say Bernard uh, Kushner, is that like the former prime minister of France? No, he wasn't. He wasn't prime minister. He was, he was a foreign minister of foreign France. Foreign minister, yeah, I mean. That, yeah. That's mm -hmm. the word. He, he is the highest ranking European politician who came to Rwanda during the genocide. And he came to the hotel and met the, this, the group of... Uh, refugees representatives who clearly told him everything about the, the, the all the that we were, we were going through and he was the one who went to the government and told them that at, they should they have to do whatever they can to spare the people who are in the hotel because if anything happens to, to the people that he had seen and met and had he will make sure that they will be uh, held accountable. So his his visit and his his, his meeting with the, with us with the, with the representative of the refugees was the real reason of what really happened to us. Uh, so I want to tell you another personal experience in the hotel that uh, 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 highlights how 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 poor Sesa Vagina was nothing in the hotel. Uh, compared to what what the, story, the, the 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 film said, on the first day I arrived at the hotel, I came as I told you we came we were three people, uh, and one of the guys who his name was Jean Paul as well, uh, who I had met at the at the at the, at the, at the Red Cross International headquarters. Uh, uh, when when we arrived there. He 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 was he was he was working for the one of the UN agencies, and and apparently people who who worked for the UN agencies uh, were supposed to be looked after by the UN peacekeepers. So he when we arrived, he needed to see a, a, a Ghanaian 
Kana, who, who, was, who, was, who, was, who was the, the head of the group that was uh, staying at the hotel, so that he could be able to, uh, I think, give him some, some, some facilities, you know, money or whatever. He had his family that was still out in the, in the town and that he was, he was really desperate to find, to find if they could, he could find a way of bring, bring them over to, to the hotel if they were still alive. Uh, so I left him at the lobby and went upstairs because uh, one, one, the other thing that I haven't mentioned, I was a football player when this all happened. So I was well known in the country. So when I arrived to the hotel, pretty much everyone inside the hotel uh, came down to see me and I was taken upstairs straight away with, you know, uh, with the different friends and fans of, of mine. So I stayed there throughout the afternoon. Then let, when it was about 6, 6 p.m. or something, I remembered my friend that I left at the lobby. And I, and I wanted to make sure to, see, to go down and see if he had been able to, 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 to receive the support that, that he needed. So I asked my, the people who I was with, that, that, you know, where, where people who doesn't have rooms uh, can, are, are, are staying in the hotel. So I, I was told that they are staying on, in, in, uh, the, in the restaurant. The restaurant was on the ground floor. So I made my way down to the, rest, to, to, to the restaurant, but I confused the, the restaurant to the cafeteria. So there were two places that were on the ground. Yeah. So I went to the cafeteria, which was close to the swimming pool, which, which, which is one, one particular place that many people have uh, come to see in the, in, in the film. When I arrived at the cafeteria, uh, I was surprised to find the Rwandan soldiers uh, staying in there. So these were soldiers who had um, uh, a, a roadblock that, that had been put right uh, at, the, at the entrance of the compound of the hotel. And they were there to, you know, to, to protect us. But the truth is that they were there to stop people coming in the hotel. And from, from my, 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 my knowledge, these people, the, the, these soldiers came to the hotel at the request of Paul Rosessa Rajin. Anyway. Okay, so can I just come in a little bit over there? Um, so somebody else who stayed with you at the time is, uh, well, former Minister of Social Affairs and now current Senator um, Odette Nira Milimo. Am I pronouncing Nira Milimo, yeah? And yes. whilst she has similar views to you in terms of the inflation of, of what the role of Recessa Bagina would have been, she does not dismiss his role in this. Um, she talks about how he reached out to certain people and sent transportation for her and her family as well to be brought to, to safety. Now, what she alleges is that after that, well, some of the people there at the hotel were, were um, where um, President Pokagami also went in afterwards and took some of the people and, and, and rescued them after that from the hotel. What she alleges is that uh, Rusesa Bajinia did do a, a lot of good and he saved a lot of lives. Of course, one of them was yours, but you, you, you choose not to acknowledge that. Um, but she alleges that he was disgruntled because he was not given a position in government. And so he would have aligned himself with French uh, leaders. What's your position on that one? I, I cannot really comment um, much on that because uh, I don't know, I don't know uh, the, 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 the true uh, fact about how, how the, 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 this whole thing uh, may have played out. Uh, or, I, or I can say uh, that uh, to my knowledge, I don't know many people or where. Well, the, the, the person you mentioned, uh, uh, Honorable Odette Nira, 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 Nira Milimo, yeah, Nira, she's a senator, former minister of social affairs. Odette, Odette uh, this, is, this is a unique case. Odette family was a very good friend of Rufus Savagina's family prior to the genocide. So if 
Eros Tetelagina did play but any, she doesn't any... just speak about her family she does acknowledge the fact that they had a relationship but she also talks about the many other people who were also rescued I have, and she acknowledges I, I, that I, 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 I have I, 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 as far as I know I have not had anyone anyone else other than Odette and, and then one or two other families that were, were known to be friends with Eros Tetelagina prior to, to the genocide who were who have Say that they, yes, Rusia Savagina helped them to come to the hotel. And, and, and so, who do you think opened the hotel then in that case? Who opened okay. it up for every, for the refugees and asylum seekers in that case? Or who was managing the hotel? Well, rather, just the refugees at that point. So. Uh, thank you for asking that. But do you, do, do, do you know that actually Rusia Savagina found the majority of the refugees already in the hotel when he arrived at the hotel? Rusia Savagina arrived at the hotel on, on April 16th a week after the genocide had started. And he did not dismiss anybody and he had given, he had, he was aware. It's not like he was surprised by the presence. What do you mean? You are suggesting that he was surprised to find refugees in there, but he was aware prior to that, wasn't he? He was, he was surprised because he didn't know anything what was going on in the hotel up until he turned up. So he, he, he didn't know that the hotel had, had, had all these people who were, who were staying there. But so, Eric, in fairness yes. to him, don't you think when he came there, let's say he was surprised, as you are alleging, yes. if to say because he had the power or he was managing the hotel at the time, mm. he could easily say, look, okay, people should leave. Or as you are saying, he was not in command, but there must have been someone else who was in command because at the end of the day, as you are saying, there were a, a group of refugees who were looking after themselves where you've kind of formed like a community group. But I believe there must have been a, someone who was managing the hotel, who was looking after the hotel. No, no. It, 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 it. <laughs> when, when I look back to what the country was at the time, and, and then you use the, 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 the term managing, I, I, I found it very ridiculous even to, to use that term because the country was in a situation where nobody was managing anything. So it, the hotel was no longer a hotel just to, 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 to begin with. Uh, he, 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 yes, he could have caused, this, caused all trouble and then and, and call militia or his, his so, French soldiers and come and, and, and put pressure, pressure on people to go, to, to go out. Uh, uh, but th th the fact that he didn't do, he didn't do that does not make him a hero. That's the point. So he, he, that's he, not that's not a problem. We leave that. that it seems like we're not going to agree to ourselves <laughs> in that point. Um, so let's talk about his arrest now because we don't have much time to go. So in terms mm -hmm. of now that he's been arrested and uh, President Kagame is saying uh, he will face the justice system and um, for his crimes. So Enoch, if I may ask you this question, do you trust the justice system in Rwanda and do you believe he's going to get a fair trial? I absolutely do agree, um, a fair justice. Um, and besides, um, uh, Bagina, we've seen other people who've been in his shoes or, or who are still, <clears throat> you know, out there. But the moment they arrive in Rwanda, no one is tortured to begin with, you know, um, they all go through the whole justice process. So it's just, a, it's just a process that everyone trusts in Rwanda. You know, the justice system is there to exonerate those who are innocent and those who are um, you know, um, guilty of what they've been arrested for, then uh, you know, uh, they'll face that justice. Um, I mean, there is examples of people who came prior to him, you know, who were um, arrested at the time. <clears throat> no one has been tortured. You know, um, they're still under arrest. And they're still uh, going through the whole justice process. So yeah, there is fair justice process going on. Well, uh, can I add also, you know, the, those those people who are supposed who are promoted as as, as uh, uh, if, you know strong critics of, of 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 the government and the president in Rwanda, uh, who have been uh, convicted and 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 and, and, and jailed. Uh, a, a number of them have actually been pardoned 
and then then went back to 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 the normal life. So when when it comes to down it comes down to the to the to the question of having a fair and a fair justice. Uh, I, I I think those those examples that should 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 uh, uh, be, be, be show us that 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 Paul Tesavajina we also received his uh, fair uh, fair trial in Rwanda. Right. Um, I just wanted to highlight another person there who is a a, a critic now of uh, Paul Kagame, but formerly a close ally, uh, Himbara who was a dissident and also a former insider who was once a senior aide and economic advisor uh, to Paul Kagame before falling out uh, with him, you know. Uh, he's saying, he's alleging that Paul Kagame is aggressive, uncontrolled, and violent. What can you say to that? <laughs> well, then what I would say that uh, the man has no idea what he's talking about i i i lived in rwanda where where well, this, is, this is a former and, this is a former aide to paul kagame and also an insider who fought I, the rebellion with paul kagame are you yes, saying he doesn't know what he's talking about yes yes i know but but i also i i also want to tell you that i lived in rwanda where i know what control and violence is and uh when 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 this man you know I use those terms. That's why. That's why I say he doesn't know what he's talking about. Uh, let, let me let, let me let me put it this way: uh, Rwandan government and President President Kagame, they are not sent. And then 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 this in this world we don't live in the world where where where, where they are sent uh, around around here. Uh, they, they 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 have every right to criticize the government and the, and the president but they don't have right to uh use what 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 is clearly their tactics which is character assassination they have nothing else to to to, to give to rwanda other than just playing this card of uh demonizing the president and 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 and, and, and the government and that's and that's why why someone like myself who is who is not in politics at all find it very hard to understand and accept with this kind of, of criticism because we we know where we came we came from we know what is bad and good it's not it's not it's not up to him or or, or Paul or someone else to come and tell me or tell, tell Rwandan how bad our our leadership is. Surely, if the, the leadership was that bad, I would not be sitting here and 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 and, and, and defending what what I know is 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 bad. These people they have nothing else to offer, other than just attacking the character of people, and that's not how you do politics. And that's the problem that we have in, in our so-called political positions in Rwanda. Thanks, Eric. Um, I mean, that's totally appreciated and really respected. It's very, it's, it's appreciated that you actually agreed to come on the show because I, I, I can imagine sometimes these this topics can really be contentious as well as, you know, thanks so much uh, for joining us on the show. Before I actually sign out, two, uh, one question for each of you. Belgian lawyers or no Belgian lawyers? Not Belgian lawyers. <laughs> Eric? <laughs> <laughs> To me, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't really care who, 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 who Belgian or English or American, as long as they are, they are, they are lawyers who are, who are going there with an intention to, 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 to defend uh, uh, justice. Not, so not he's entitled to his legal representation as he not, pleases. Not, 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 not propaganda, propagandist. And unfortunately, okay. those who have been mentioned so far have been known more as propagandists than lawyers. And but that's, whose, that's decision, whose decision is it about who should represent me legally? Is it mine or somebody else who is prosecuting me? Uh, well, I'm not a legal person. Uh, I, I, I can't, I can't. <laughs> You've become a politician already. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, Accra. gentlemen, thank and you so Africa, much for joining Africa, us on Africa. African Voices. We have to time no out now, so and you. we look forward to seeing you next week on another episode. And Bailo, thanks so much for co-hosting the show tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Good night, yeah. and subscribe to our channel. Good night. <laughs>